What is up everybody? It is Wick here and I've got a video about plush today. Stuffed animals, whatever you want to call them. It doesn't really matter because there are tons of them out there that are worth money. Many of them you wouldn't expect to be. Some of them you would expect to be. There's a lot of Disney plush out there that are worth money, but there's a lot more that aren't. Same with Pokemon plush. Uh, kind of obvious that some of those would be worth money, but the majority of them are not. I was inspired to do this video because my friend Melanie over at Crow's Thrifty Finds YouTube channel recently did a a video about plush and I watched it and I learned quite a bit. So I thought I should do a plush video on some of the stuff I know about. Of course, this isn't going to be every plush I know that is valuable. There's so many out there, like I said. But if you are interested in checking out her channel, I'll have a link in the description to that video so you can check it out. But let's jump into it. First are going to be the Angry Birds. Now, I've mentioned Angry Birds so many times on the channel. I've been finding a lot of the board games and selling them. A lot of that stuff is worth money. You wouldn't think Angry Birds would be worth much. But I've made hundreds, probably well into the thousands now, selling Angry Birds stuff. And the plush is no different. I recently sold a bunch of plush I got at a rummage sale. They were, I think, like five bucks for a, a bag of 15 or so. They're small ones. But I still was able to sell them for about $60. However, there's some really rare ones out there. And keep in mind when we're looking at these eBay comps that some of them are probably going to be fake. I don't know about this Star Wars Angry Birds plush here. $9,100, 58 bids. Uh, mostly because... If you keep scrolling down here, you can see there's some good comps on these. Uh, here's another one for 714. What you need to know is if you happen to see, you know, that plush, obviously pick it up because it is going to have some actual value. Uh, the chef's hat one, uh, some of these larger ones, birthday. There's one with a cowboy hat. But here is one I want you to really keep an eye out for. And this is the Mighty Eagle Angry Bird. It's rare. This is the more common rare one that has value. Uh, consistently selling between $200 $250. It doesn't really look like an Angry Birds plush, so it could be pretty easy to miss. Uh, I've been keeping an eye out for it for a while now. I haven't found any, of course. But like I said, picking up some of the lower end Angry Birds plush and doing lots, it, it, they do very well. And these aren't that old, 2010. Like this is, to me, this is what makes reselling really exciting is just going out to you know, a garage sale, I'm coming across something like this that somebody priced like 50 cents or a dollar. It truly makes it a treasure hunt. So here are some nosy bears. I recently sold a nosy bear I found at a Goodwill. I think I got about $75 for it, if I remember right. I think it was about last year now I sold it actually, but there's all kinds of different nosy bears. Basically, like here's the basketball one. Uh, this is the one I had when I was a kid, actually. See, it sold for $65 plus shipping. You squeeze their stomach and air comes up through their nose and it makes these balls do things like go in the basketball hoop or uh, there's snow ones. I think this snowman one is the one I sold. I don't even remember now. Rabbit one, but there's all kinds of them. Just something to keep an eye out for. You can find these at garage sales and rummage sales pretty easily. I shouldn't say easily because they are kind of rare. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's the kind of places that they usually end up. So this one may be pretty obvious to some people. Vintage ALF plush. Now there's a lot of ALF plushes out there. Some of them are more rare, uh, like the the puppet, uh, this ALF plush. Obviously, I'm, I'm searching for stuff that it's used. If it's new, it's going to be worth a lot more money. Uh, it just goes with anything like this. But actually, a lot of the ones you see are the ones made by Coleco. Uh, they're going to be the most common to find, and they still hold great value, usually around 100 bucks. And honestly, they have a pretty good sell-through rate. So anyone my age is probably going to know to pick these up when you see them. But anyone younger or maybe even possibly older uh, didn't really click with their childhood. Maybe wouldn't recognize this as being valuable, but it has a unique look. And be careful with the comps because some of these are you know, different sizes, like 18 inch, a 24 inch, maybe, you know, 50 more dollars. You just never know. The tag, the maker, all that stuff matter. Here's another thing that I feel is fairly common. None of this stuff is super common, but there's enough of it out there. You can realistically find this stuff, I think. And this is the Kermit plush puppet. You see the comps on this, some of them over $200, 107, 90, 85. And some of these are going to be like Fisher Price. Others are going to be like this Eden, which I've never actually found one of these, I don't think. There was one in my video footage I noticed one time that I think could have been this one that I, I just didn't see. It probably was, honestly, because I think it was the same sale I got a Teddy Ruxpin, which is not in this video, but a great plush to look out for. So if I did actually miss this one, you know, I left some money on the table, that's for sure. Hopefully I won't make that mistake again, but 
There's so many Kermit the Frog plushes out there that you see them all the time. Your mind just kind of like, I don't care. They're not worth anything, right? Some of them are. So when you think of plush, you might not think of this type of plush. These are golf club covers. And I recently found a Stewie and sold it. I got about $40, I think it was. 40 plus shipping, I paid 50 cents for it at a rummage sale, so it was a pretty good deal. But a lot of these special character plush golf club covers do very well. See, there's a 2010 Kiss one, $95, pretty good. Vintage Looney Tunes, Star Wars, there's a Yoda, 8280, Winnie the Pooh stuff, Mickey Mouse, Disney, a Tigger, $69.99, uh, Popeye, $59.99, and, and even if you are only finding the ones that sell for $25 to $40, bucks, that's still great money because you're probably only going to pay anywhere from a quarter to like $5 max, I would think, unless somebody knows what they have, they might price it higher. But these things are just big money. You could even come across some old set of golf clubs that have two or three of them. Uh, golf clubs are like $20 or $30. Bucks. It'd be worth buying just for the golf club covers. And let me know in the comments if any of you've found any of this stuff, if this is all new to you. I'm just always curious on the knowledge of my viewing audience, like how much stuff they already know, or if I'm teaching them something new, I'm just always curious. So Futurama, now this is something you might not think would have very many valuable plush, but they did not make a lot of them apparently. And there's some very valuable ones from 2011, 2014. And if you start scrolling here, you can see here's a bender for $80. Uh, Zoidberg. And uh, I recently sold a Zoidberg. I think this one is mine. I sold it for $70. This one was pretty dirty. Unfortunately, I probably could have got a bit more. I still got $70 for it, which is really good. I believe I had $10 into it is all. So good profit on that uh, bender. And if you're familiar with the show, a lot of the stuff's going to stand out. Plush do not have to be vintage to be worth money. Like 2014, that's fairly new. Um, about nine years, I mean, it's getting pretty old. But any unique character, any unique show that has plush that you find, I think it's worth looking up, doing some research. Ah, yes, these creepy things. Teletubbies. They're so weird. <laughs> Uh, but they're starting to pick up in value a lot of the toys. And of course, that means plush as well. Uh, they're not huge money, but look at this, $64.99. There were quite a few of these made. Uh, certain ones, especially the talking plush, do very well. Here's a set of four, set of three. And uh, I mean, I've seen these before, even at Goodwill. I've probably passed them a few times because I just assumed they weren't worth a lot. It's kind of like the Barney plush. Uh, a lot of those are worth money but even more so, a lot of them aren't. Like, look at these weird things. <laughs> $60 for this one. This one's from 1998 vintage. Uh, honestly, I didn't realize they were from 1990s. Um, I thought they were like mid 2000s type toy, but I'm not the target audience, so <laughs> you'll have to forgive me. Yeah, I noticed this one's Microsoft 1998. That's pretty interesting. And the great thing about Teletubbies is they are easy to spot. Another thing that I have noticed picking up popularity is Hello Kitty. In my mind, I thought Hello Kitty is just mass, mass produced. I didn't realize how popular it is, how valuable some of the toys are. And of course that carries over to the plush. And I'm not familiar with the show, the characters or anything like that. Obviously I know Hello Kitty, but if you look at like this one, Choco Cat, Build-A-Bear, $610. I'd probably just think that was like a cat plush. Same with this one. Uh, some of these are rare, like anniversary editions or something like that. Uh, yeah, some lots. I bet a lot of the smaller ones, a lot together, the lower end ones, but a lot of these in the $200 range is crazy, especially this Build-A-Bear Choco Cat. Definitely keep an eye out for that. I know I will be. That's one thing I'm trying to do with these plush is just familiarize myself with more of them because some of these Goodwills, they usually have high hundreds of these things on the shelf it feels like and you're just looking and looking and all of them just kind of seem cheap and not worth anything if you start filing away this information when you start seeing this stuff it starts clicking and you can buy it immediately and make money it's just crazy how that works like once you start getting knowledge about items and thinking about them and looking for them you just start finding stuff so here's another outside of the box plush idea and that's these sports hats sports caps that have the plush on them and if you see here, this vintage Miami Dolphins plush hat is one that I sold. $89.99 plus shipping is what I sold it for. And I found this just on the side of the road. I saw that somebody was having like a yard sale, had a bunch of boxes out in their yard. I started digging through them. I uh, found a couple really good hats. 
and one of them was this plush hat got both of them for 50 cents so you can't beat it you can see the seattle seahawks one uh well i don't know if it sold for 199 it could have been a best offer and obviously these types of hats it's just going to depend on the team um, and the maker you can see here like oregon state university i don't know how popular that is uh like chicago bears some of these are priced kind of low for um how, how rare they are they're actually kind of rare to find these but the ones from the 80s like the miami dolphins and uh seattle seahawks hat you know it's kind of just name your price i probably could have priced this maybe a hundred dollars more and got it eventually from somebody because from 1986 like how many of these are even going to exist anymore let alone be in good enough sellable condition still one of my favorite things to sell is just these vintage caps i think they're so cool here's another item i found recently this is a baby sinclair from the show dinosaurs and this is a talking plush i found mine for i think it was 50 cents is all however it was very dirty and wasn't working right unfortunately I still sold it for like 20 or 30 dollars in that condition but you can see here actually working uh you're getting them over a hundred dollars in working good condition the show wasn't very successful but you know the plush are still holding some value i'm sure there's some other plush from that show that are good as well but i want to show this one since it's something i actually found and are you familiar with wrestling buddies i've mentioned them on the channel before these are just vintage plush wrestlers and some of them have incredible value jake the snake roberts here uh looking to be like 300 plus just kind of crazy big boss man you got ultimate warrior hawk hogan they probably mass produced you know them two they were more popular than some of the others and i recently found one um it was a sting here's it was this one right here it wasn't the same one of this listing here but i sold a sting i got sting for 50 cents i'm finding a lot of things for 50 cents in this video and mine was faded and pretty dirty so i was just gonna do an auction on it and of course i accidentally put buy it now because i'm just so used to doing buy it now and i was going to start the auction at 20 bucks plus shipping and of course i did a buy it now for 20 dollars, and it sold immediately rather than cancel the order i just went ahead and shipped it out it was my mistake and you know in my condition i probably still could have got 40 or 50 dollars on auction but I honestly didn't know how well it was going to sell in that condition and that's why I was doing an auction but yeah kind of unfortunate million dollar man <laughs> I still remember the, the theme song of million dollar man money 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 should be my theme song for this channel but again I think these things are so cool and I have to be careful because I kind of want to collect them just good memories from my childhood I know I, I had ultimate warrior a hawk or somebody i knew had those but there it is everybody there's some plush you can look out for hopefully find some make some money of course if you ever do find some let me know i would love to hear it it's awesome when i make a video like this because somebody always comes back and says hey i watched your video i ended up going thrifting into garage sales and i found this exactly what you talked about i think that's pretty cool but before you go please hit that like button for me please subscribe if you enjoyed the video want to see more you can find me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, flipping underscore junk. And this has been Wick. Till next time.